It's really crucial to remember that we can only absorb substances once they are in their most simple form. Now, if we take that analogy of a, or that example of a potato, when we eat and we chew potato, we start breaking it down and we break down the sugars in that potato. Uh, and those sugars, you may recall, uh, being known as starch or starches. Now, a starch is a carbohydrate that is basically binding together anywhere between about three and 500 glucose units. If you think of this a little bit like Lego, one glucose unit is a bit like one single brick of Lego. And a starch molecule has anywhere between about three to 500 Lego bricks. And when we join them all together, we end up with this big structure of starch. Now, we cannot absorb starch when it's bound together in such high quantities of glucose. We can't even absorb the sugars when they are bound together in double sugar units. Remember, we call those disaccharides. Di means double, saccharide means sugar. We can only absorb the sugars when they are in the form of uh, a monosaccharide, mono meaning one, a single sugar unit. We've got to get down from that big block of Lego into the single bricks of Lego. So what I'm really sort of getting at at this point is that absorption can only take place if we get good digestion. Poor digestion leads to inadequate absorption. And going back to that concept that we've already covered already, if we get poor digestion, we get poor absorption, and therefore we, we're not really nourishing the tissues of our body. So if somebody comes to see you having some sort of poor digestive process, then one of the presenting symptoms may also be things like fatigue, because the cells around the body are not actually receiving the nutrients that they should be from the foods that they're eating. And this is important because when somebody comes in to see us and they tell us about their diet, they give you maybe a, you know, a three or a seven day diet diary and you learn all this information about what they're putting into their mouth, you've also got to bear in mind that for their body to actually extract those nutrients, these digestive processes need to be functioning well.